What's up guys, it's your boy Milan Miguel, back at it again with another video. Today we'll be doing a recap of Lil vs. Milan, so here we go. Here we go. We are back at it again in the Europa League match day four, um, Lil versus Milan. The last time we played Lil, we lost 3-0 at home at the San Siro, which was our biggest European defeat at the San Siro, which is ultimately kind of disappointing, um, but we need to move past that. We're coming off of the 3-1 win against Napoli. Starting lineup, Donnarumma, Dalot, Gabia gets a start, Romagnoli gets benched, Kier, there Hernandez and then we see Tonali get a start because Kessier looked a bit uh, out of it in the last game um, he actually lost a tooth um, playing against Napoli he got elbowed by Politano and lost a tooth and he was bleeding um, then we have Benacer in the midfield we have John Peter Hauch making his first start for Milan Hakan Chalonoglu Samu Castillejo and Rebic up top because of Zlatan Ibrahimovic's injury. Now, this isn't the best starting lineup going out forward. Uh, we're missing Leao, Salmakers, uh, Cassier, very important, Romagnoli. Um, but this is a lineup that gives rotation and it's enough to get us by. Um, I have to say, the first half of the game was. It, it, there wasn't much to it, honestly. Um, we, we looked a bit sloppy, our passes weren't going through. It seemed like we weren't really confident in the ball that we were playing. It seemed like we were trying to overdo things, just doing too much, um, and our passes weren't looking the best. And I'll be fair, Lil didn't look their best either. They had a couple sloppy chances. Um, we had a few passes that uh, if those passes did get off, it would have been a good counterattack. Um, but we also had some passes that could have ended up into, uh, you know, a terrible counterattack for um, Lil. And even there was one instance where Tonali passed the ball and um, Yaziti ended up taking a shot and he was only narrowly wide. Um, so that just goes to show you how, you know, sloppy the first half was. I will say there was that one opportunity where John Peter Hauga um, cut down the wing beautiful counterattack and instead of passing it right away you try to cut it off onto his other foot and pass it um, which wasted time and then it got blocked um, that would have been an easy tap in for Rebic in the first half which would have you know given us a good boost um, but that didn't happen and you can't really complain um, like I said before Lil was definitely the team in this group that was going to give us trouble and that's exactly what happened when I predicted um, the Europa League group stages. So halftime, nil nil, um, like I said, not really much to differentiate the sides. I did think that Milan was the better side in the first half compared to Lil. Um, Lil was missing Renato Sanchez, um, which was integral because he was huge in that first leg where they bossed us around in that midfield. And we couldn't really do anything about it. Second half, no substitutions, no changes. And we come out of the blocks, up and running. Samu Castillejo finds a way to get a goal, assisted by Ante Rebic, perfectly onside. And it's a good start for Milan. Uh, Milan go up 1-0 in one minute of uh, the second half. Now you're thinking, okay, we got a goal. We have to hang on to this or we try and find a second one. So I would say that Rebic kind of struggled a bit this game. Um, it seems like he was doing a little too much. His dribbling wasn't as precise as normal. Um, and I will say like it does take Rebic some time to get settled into his role. Um, he looked a bit off in his runs, like just about a step off or two um, off in his runs. But for the most part, I think he had a pretty average to decent game. Um, he did provide the assist, but then he would come off him and Hakan would come off in the 61st minute, replaced by Ibrahim Diaz and Lorenzo Colombo. Now, taking Hakan off, I can understand. Um, I was a bit skeptical about Rebic coming off because Colombo hasn't really played against this side 
um, and I just think that Colombo doesn't have enough experience right now to be placed in a game that we kind of need a win or get a draw. Um, so yeah, I thought that keeping Rubbish on for the experience would have helped. Then in the 65th minute, uh, Jonathan Bamba would pull a goal back for Lil. Um, you know, just a beautiful shot from him, honestly. Um, there was nothing we could really do about it. Um, the defending was just a bit laggy. Um, we are just lacking attentiveness and closing down players on defense and we ended up conceding. So Milan won, Lil won. It seems like after that it was just fair game. Whoever wanted it would try to get it. Um, Krunic would come on to replace Hauga in the 77th minute. Um, I think Hauga had an okay game. Um, I think he got the start and I don't know if the start kind of got to his head because he has scored two goals in about 30 minutes of playing time off the bench. Um, and yeah, he did create that one opportunity in the first half where had he not hesitated and been more decisive, we could have been a goal up in the first half. Um, but it was an okay you know, game for Houch. I don't think he, he played bad, um, but we've seen better from him. And overall, you know, it was fair game. Lil and Milan had some opportunities to close away the game. Nobody really closed it off. Um, and it ended up in a draw, 1-1. Lil goes to the top of the table for the Europa League. Uh, Milan's in second place. Pretty average game for Milan. We had more possession. We only had four shots, one on target, compared to Lil's uh, 13 shots. Um, and that's pretty much what you would get from a rotational side that doesn't get first team football all the time. Um, we're still learning, we're still growing, we're still developing, um, and we're gonna get there. We're in a good spot right now. We just need to take this and continue to move on forward. And once we get past the group stage and gets into the elimination stage, you know, that's good for us. It's beneficial for us, more money. Um, our top priority is Serie A, making top four and returning to Champions League. Uh, Europa League is a bonus. It, it's nice, it helps us, um, but that's not the main objective here. So, Ben Asir had a good game. I think Theo Hernandez had a good game. Um, Brahim Diaz coming off the bench. I think he did pretty decent. Um, I didn't really see what Colombo did, honestly, when he came off the bench. So, I thought that having Rebic on the pitch would have been better. Um, be sure you can say that, you know, Rebic gets some rest for Fiorentina on Sunday. Um, and Fiorentina had to play extra time in the Coppa Italia, so they're going to be tired um, and they don't have as much depth or whatever. So that can be, uh, you know, good for us. Um, but can't really complain. Donnarumma did his job. You can't really say it that first goal that we conceded. Um, I think Kier and Gabia did pretty solid. Uh, Tonali looked a bit shaky, but again, you have to realize that these players aren't getting consistent playing time. Um, so that's also a factor. And then having the rotation from the first team and whatnot plays all a, a huge factor in there. I think Castillejo did all right. Um, he did get the tap and goal, so congrats to him because we needed that in that moment. Um, Chalanoglu, okay game for him. Not really the best. I think that contract renewal was kind of getting to his head a little bit. Um, actually, reports came out that he's probably going to go to Manchester United, and if he does, so be it. Um, I think we don't lose much losing Hakan. We're just going to replace him. Hopefully, we can get Sabozlai, and he doesn't go to Madrid, and we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's really my takeaways from the game. Let me know what you think. Um, as to the giveaway, I'm actually extending the giveaway um, a little bit longer. So the giveaway will be extended. The winner will be announced. Um, say right before Christmas and uh, that's all I have for you guys we have Fiorentina Sunday morning so Forza Milan and peace